Hey, Nicole. Nicole, I have to tell you that because of your academic dishonesty, you're not you're not allowed to participate on the kick line team anymore. Why? Just because I did it? Really? Please, give me one more chance. Kick line is my life. You can do this to me. You should have thought about that before you cheated. But it's not a big deal. Everybody cheats. So that doesn't make you right. Now you have to face the consequences. You don't understand what it is like. Cheating is not tolerated. September, sophomore year of high school. Brian is the best student in the school. Yesterday you had to read chapter 8. Who can tell me what happened between Simon and the soldier? Brian? Uh, Simon started talking to the biggest head. He said he was full of darkness. Also, the pig represent um, hell and Simon represent heaven. Excellent. Later that fall, Brian becomes distracted because of Nicole and he doesn't pay attention in class anymore. So you're in my English class, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Nicole is never gonna like me. Ryan. Ah uh, yes. I did it on paper. Sorry. Springtime. Brian is not a bad student in the school anymore. During lunchtime, he sits with the football team and, of course, with Nicole. So, Nicole, are you ready for the test? No, not at all. I didn't have time to study. I broke up with Nicole. Oh, you broke up with John? I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, can you please help me to cheat? Because I have to pass. Because I have to stay here. Sure, anything for good for good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. So you write all the highlighted stuff. Those are like the most important things. Mm -hmm. Over here, too. Good morning, people. Good morning. So, are you guys ready for the test? Yes. No. What do you mean by no? Everyone, clear your desk, please. Yes, I do. Alright, cool. Now, just don't let me show you. Okay. You have until 10.30 to finish this test. Uh, read the directions carefully and don't leave anything blank. And keep your eyes on your own paper. I will talk to you after class.
We call. I'm sorry, it's quiet in here. Brianna, I'll be cheap. Brianna? Yes. Here, please. I need to talk. Have a seat, please. So what is happening with you guys? You guys were so good at the beginning of the year and now you guys are cheating? Can you explain yourself? I didn't help her cheat, I just gave her something to study from. No, you gave me a cheat sheet. Okay, I helped her to write a cheat sheet, but I didn't tell her to use it. It was her choice to use it. Still, that is not right. If you wanted to help her, you could have helped her study rather than help her cheat. And also, there is an, another issue. I corrected your, your research paper from last week and I know that you guys both copied everything from the internet. What do you mean? The information in the internet is correct. How can that be wrong? This is called plagiarism. Uh, because you stole someone's, like, someone's work without giving them the credit. And if you did this in college, you would be expelled. I think we all should meet together with your parents and figure everything out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, you guys can go now. Hello, this is Mr. Cheryl Brian's English teacher. Is this Mr. Khan? Yes, is something wrong? I need to talk to you in person. Can you come to school on Monday afternoon? What happened with Ryan? Is he okay? We call Ryan cheating. My son is a good student. Well, I have I have proof that he cheated. Can you come to school to meet with me? Uh and noon on Monday to discuss this? Yes, I'll be there. Thank you. Goodbye. Nicole's English teacher. Yeah, I would like to talk to you about your daughter, Nicole. Well, we had an issue with Nicole in school. Uh, I call her cheating on her test. Is there any way you can come to school on Monday afternoon? Oh, okay, whatever. I'd be there on Monday. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Hi, Mr. Khan. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. That's it. So I called you guys here today because I called your son, Ryan, and your daughter, Nicole, cheating on Friday's test and also on the research paper from last week. And as you know, this is a very serious issue. What do you want me to do? Mm, as you know, cheating is not tolerated, so you gotta talk to her. Because if that, she could fail English this year. I will definitely tell him which I am. This is not him. There is, is definitely something wrong. In the meantime, uh, the principal and I have decided on the consequences, and they will be suspended for four days. I think that is fair. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay. Bye, thank you. And don't forget to talk for them. Okay, yes. Hey, Nicole. Nicole, I have to tell you that because of your academic dishonesty, you're not you're not allowed to participate on the Kick Line team anymore. Why? Just because I cheated? Really? Please, give me one more chance. Kick line is my life. You can do this to me. You should have thought about that before you cheated. But it's not a big deal. Everybody cheats. So that doesn't make you right. Now you have to face the consequences. You don't understand what it's like. Cheating is not tolerated. I'm sorry. Good morning, people. Good morning. So are you guys ready for the test? 
Yes. No. What do you mean by no? Everyone clear your desk, please. Yes, I do. Alright, cool. I'm just don't let me show it to you. I shouldn't cheat. If she catches me, I will be in so much trouble. I might even lose my place on the kick line team. It's definitely not worth it. It's better to get a low grade without cheating instead of getting a higher grade by cheating. Yeah, I won't cheat. Maybe cheating seems like the easiest way now, but it's definitely not the easiest way in the future.